Welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us for this uh, special um, online event that's live. My name is Shiv. Uh, this is a very painful time for us, all of us, especially the artists who are joining us today. Uh, they're from Ukraine. We probably can't imagine the pain and suffering you all are going through, but we can learn a little more about it. And that's why we are, we've come together today. I've been interacting with people from Ukraine since the war started, and I've been blown over by the courage, their positive spirit, their determination, the fearlessness to fight for what's right. Like Guru Gobind Singh says, Let me never shirk away from fighting for what is right. And what is right here is freedom and peace. One of the most fascinating people I've met in the past month or so is uh, curator extraordinaire uh, Kate Taylor. And I'm just going to add her to the screen. Hello, Kate. Um, Kate is uh, has a, had an illustrious career as an art manager, as a curator, an expert on contemporary art, and founder of an agency of cultural management called Port Agency. Um, it's based in Kyiv. Uh, while she's been dealing with the bombs, and uh, unfortunately, she's had to flee from, from Kyiv, despite the bombs and the displacement, what's amazing is that she's continued her work. She's continued to organize artists, to encourage artists to do their, their work. And she, along with artists and uh, other colleagues at Port agency have started this initiative called Artists Support Ukraine. And their website is uh, on the, is the first comment that we have on this um, um, uh, live event, if you look at the comments. So please go check that out. I'm going to hand over the call to Kate in just a moment. But before I do that, let me remind you that we're here to support these artists. These artists are going through a really tough time. I would really vis visit their website. There will, you will find their links to Instagram uh, and also to make donations. You, you can find links on their website or there's a link to our PayPal again on the comments. After, once we're done with this event, we'll have this video available and you will find the donation links um, on the video. All the donations that come through this program will directly go to Artists Support Ukraine, the project, and those um, donations will go to artists. Um, so for those who, of you uh, um, who don't know me, I, I generally say the purpose of life is to sing. And when I, just, when I say that, uh, people often say, hey, but I don't really sing. I don't really have a voice. And I tell them, you don't need a voice to sing. You need a heart. There are qualities that bring lasting peace. And one of those qualities that we need to sing are fearlessness in the pursuit of truth. So for my Ukrainian brothers and sisters who are joining us today, I sing of your fearlessness and determination. Thank you so much for continuing to do what you do courageously May you continue to sing with your art, with your paints, with your sculptures, with your words. May you continue to sing and to continue uh, this uh, event. Let me hand it over to Kate. Kate. Kate, I, I, I don't think we can hear you. Uh, do you have your mute on, perhaps? Yeah. yeah. Good evening. Good evening. I'm from Ukraine. Uh, my name is Kate Taylor. And um, yeah, thank you very much, Chief, for your presentation and for your support. It means a lot, not only for me, but for all the artistic community and I believe for the Ukrainians as well. Ukrainians who are fighting while we are talking right now. And uh, it's not easy. Each each day of the last months was not easy. Um, well, um, 
I will just uh, present myself a little bit and I will we'll tell what we are going to talk about today. So I'm a humanitarian engineer and an art manager based, was <laughs> based in Kiev, Ukraine. Now I'm at the western part next to the um, uh, Hungarian border. But anyway, uh, I was mainly dealing with public art and uh, gender equality issues. Um, and actually doing that also through power of culture um and now with the war um as well uh, we're dealing um uh, also trying to deal with it through the art um and um today i represent the platform art to support ukraine that was found by me and um uh, volodymyr kadehrop um, in, two, uh, in 2014, uh, when the war in the east of Ukraine started and the part of our country was taken by Russians. Uh, and now Artists Support Ukraine became needed again. We, we, didn't, we didn't think it's going to be the case, but it is. Um, so um, today we are talking to Ukrainian artists who stay mainly in not only in ukraine being in a safe place like me now but mostly staying in the hot spots uh and they not only continue to live there just to be but they continue their work for the whole world to know what is going on but we will talk more about it i before that i want just to say some rules of the conversation um so i will have like the basic questions and we will go um, uh, through it. Um, and um, the artists, there are six of them, I hope will be online with us. I hope everybody will be able to make it because the connection is not good. But uh, everybody has a limit of approximately one minute to answer the question, if it is possible. Uh, and I encourage the other artists to ask each other questions as well. Um, or add something if they feel they have to add, uh, even if the question is not addressed to them. So all the questions from the audience, please write in chat and we will have time at the end to read some of them at least. And uh, please apply the name of the artist if, you, if it is specific. Uh, and while you're listening, you can also make a donation as a shift set, it will help us a lot. And of course, you can do that through Artists for Ukraine or Artists Support Ukraine, Ukraine platform. Any amount is good to support uh, the activity. And all the money uh, that will come, they will go for artists in danger, for those who stay and work, for those who need materials, for those who need something to survive because they decided that they want to stay or because they cannot leave the hotspots, it also could be the case, actually, because, in, as you know, probably you have heard about such cities as Mariupol and Kharkiv, which are really been destroyed, and it is very difficult to leave and um, leave them, and uh, it's very dangerous to be there. So, um, these are the rules of the of the conversation, and. Um, Hard to start actually because I have to start with uh, with the beginning and the beginning was on the twenty um, fourth of February at five a.m. when I woke up from the con phone call of my business partner Juliana and she said simple she said wake up the war started and that's it and straight ahead I've heard the bombs. Ah, uh, this is, she, here she is, she is uh, actually staying in Kyiv. Mm -hmm. I tried to take her out, but she said that she's going to stay there. So straight ahead, I've heard the bomb, bombs and nothing was normal since then. And um, this is the story, not my personal story, but this is the story of each and every Ukrainian uh, right now. Um, And unfortunately, not everybody knows this story. Not everybody understands it uh, because, of course, we have been in the news for the last months, very active, a lot of people watching the news. But many of them don't really know what is going on. And um, 
how do you know the truth? And I believe to know the best way to know the truth, and maybe the only one, is to talk to people, to people who are going through hell, to people who are being in a, these difficult situations. And we've got those people today, so we will ask them, how are they? How do they feel? What do they do? And so on. So um, this conversation is aimed to let you know about what is going on right now and to support us in all possible ways you can. Of course, you can do a donation, but as well, you can be an ambassador of peace and justice, telling the truth about Russian war in Ukraine. So please allow me to introduce you to our guest artists who mostly stay in the hotspots, as I said, and continue their work. We are hosting today Alexander Krylikovsky, performing artist, also another performing artist, Alektina Kahidze, um, Alexey Kandakov, who is mainly working with colleges, and you probably know him. I will show later on probably the Instagrams of the guys so you can um, follow them and see their artwork. Hopefully, he will also make it. The other artist is Raman Pashkovsky. Raman is a photographer who also stays in Kiev. And um, Anna Naduda is a sculpture artist who recently moved to Prague. So let's um, see who is online here. Do we get, do we have everyone or is just Alexander here? Just let, let give me a, minute, a second, I hope, uh, to check for it. Hi, Alex. Hi. Hey, hey. Good, you're here. Uh, Hi, everyone. It, uh, Hi. Not too late. Yeah, uh, it's so great to see everyone and to be sure everyone is safe. So I propose we just go on and then by the time the, uh, the other come, we just continue with them. So um, some of the questions will be just general because they're really, I would really wondering like uh, where you are, where all of you are now. Tell me, where have you been when it's all started and um, where are you now? Uh, Alexander, let, let's, uh, Krylikovsky, <laughs> let's start from you. Where are you now? Where have you been? No. Um, we need a mic, mic. Just, yeah. No, he's just gone. Okay, Alex, let's start from you. Uh, uh, well, uh, at the beginning, actually, it's a funny thing is for me because we uh was so tired about uh, after our training and uh, we slept well and woke up at uh, eight o'clock and at the morning and uh, i saw a lot of missed calls on the phone and message from a friend from uh, states he said uh are you all okay and uh, at this moment I uh, get that uh, war started and I call to my parents and uh, look to the window and saw a lot of people in a uh, line to banks, uh, to shops. And uh, then we just go to our friends uh, home to just uh, come down and, and uh, then visit visit our, visit our parents, uh, my parents nearby, and uh, start to uh, decide decide uh, should we go somewhere or should we stay, uh, what we should do at this moment. So, and we just decide to stay at Kiev because uh, our family already have uh, experience of, of moving from uh, Donetsk. Uh, Pre yeah. previous so we decide just uh, to stay here and uh, probably wait for uh, if, if things uh, will become worse and then probably we will go somewhere or i don't know mm -hmm. yeah i will just to explain the context because i, I said shortly about the war in the east of ukraine that started like eight years ago but 
uh, important to say that it was like uh, Lugansk and Donetsk, the like important cities on the east of Ukraine that they are bordering with Russia, they were taken and uh, the war was there and my family also had to move from Lugansk and also another very important spot which was taken is a Crimea um, and the peninsula and it's uh, I mean there are a lot of Ukrainians who actually stayed there but others did move and one of them is our other artist Alexander Krolikovsky who actually uh, he's not from Crimea as I remember by Boris that yeah you're from Donetsk no uh, yeah I'm uh, uh, born in Donetsk but I'm lived in Crimea 10 years before occupation yeah because uh, so you had to, yeah 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 so, so you had I'm... to move from Crimea first and now you are like have another issue so yeah please tell the story yeah. Yeah, actually uh, uh, I'm, yeah, I'm origin from Donetsk uh, but uh, I'm live in Crimea 10 years whereas the uh, Russian army comes to Crimea I understand what is a uh, very dangerous to stay because uh, it's some repression start and uh, my partner Alexandra uh, was uh, her photos was on some website, uh, Russian website, like uh, enemy of Russian nation. So we go to Donetsk, but from Donetsk we go to Kiev because uh, not uh, at first at Kiev, but we actually traveled into we lived in Lviv, Turkey, Slavutich. and now I'm here in Vizgorod. It's a beautiful suburb near Kiev near Kiev scene. Actually, in peaceful time, it's really beautiful. And uh, at lockdown times, it was like, you know, really good place to stay in lockdown times. But now it's uh, near front line. And when war started, I'm just awake from the blasts. Just I'm hear the sound because Vizgorod is like a high on the some hills. So I hear the blast from the from the most places uh, of Kiev, and uh, not only Kiev. So I'm awake, and uh, the, I, it was uh, really ironic, but I, will, I have corona, I have Omicron, and I have a temperature 39, so I understand, oh, fuck, oh that is a real apocalypse. I'm uh, uh, sick already, and war is started, so... But now I'm uh, not sick, I'm okay, I haven't any temperature, I'm here, and um, actually already it uh, was uh, some uh, battle just near, I think it's uh, in uh, Novi Petrovsky. Are you, it's, uh, can I ask, can I interrupt you, yes. are, you sitting, are you sitting in the corridor because there is no yes, windows? Yes, yes, because it's no windows, because uh, I uh, actually, mm, I can uh, turn on light in my room, because and I am sleep in corridor uh, yeah. one month. Actually, it was one month, but for me it's one one endless day. So yeah. the time uh, feeling is up completely changed. Yeah, I understand. So yeah, thank you for sharing uh, that. And uh, yeah, I'm uh, more um, yeah. Thanks. Um, um, yeah, it's like that. And it's important to say that, I mean, uh, some bombs somewhere, some pictures from somewhere, like TV shots that you can see in the news, it seems like it's not there, but real people dealing with it every like second. And while they're talking to us, they stay in danger. That is very important to understand that. And not only artists, of course, like everybody actually who, who stays, for example, in those cities, yeah, more like Eastern cities than Lviv or whatever. Uh, and it's continuously endless uh, sirens uh, that just, you know, destroy your nervous system and then um, crazy. Yeah, but um, there are some, some others who can leave because, you know, in the wartime, men cannot leave the country, only women can. So we have another artist who has a different experience, experience of not staying in danger, but moving out of the country with all the possible um, crazy situations through. Anya, are you with us? I, yeah, I think you. Yeah, so... Um, please tell us about your experience which is totally different um uh, important to say just before she, you you start uh, that it's ju not just the artists that you know we, we know someone it's all the people i worked with we have exhibitions together so we have 
you know, like the story before we had all that and it's it makes it even more dramatic of course but at the same time it makes me feel it you know to understand the context to understand why they are staying why they are doing what they are doing so which is also very interesting i find so anya please tell us about uh, how it's all started for you on the 24th of february and what is going on now vitaliu ani s vami so it started like for me it started ago it started kind of before because i was not sleeping kind of five or four days before uh, 24th i don't know why somehow i felt this vibration and also probably because i live in podil near water water gives a lot of sound so i, I was kind of like waking up around three every night of this high qual high resolution sounds which you even cannot explain how like what is that just i was waking up coming to the window don't hear anything but somehow i heard this vibration very and so as the issues were not looking nice so i i had this feeling all the time uh, also, what's saying about like predictions or things which we heard or felt before some, something happens. On 24th, when they invaded, so I woke up my eight year son and um, I said to him, come on, babe, just take your thing, just wear your clothes, we, we're going to the basement. And so that's that's all how how it it started uh when when in the basement i i went out of the basement and i've seen that was on the on the second day i've seen the tank and i've seen this before that was on my vision long long before after i i understood definitely that's that's really happening and we live Okay, I think we lost to you a little bit. Okay, there I don't see any no sound, right? Yeah, it, it, the sound is lost. Okay, Anne, uh, we cannot hear you. We cannot hear Anne. Anna. Okay, all right. Um, there is no sound. I think she doesn't hear us. Okay. Um, in the meantime, I will tell you that I just got a message from another artist who is uh, Aliftina Kahidze. She said that she cannot be online with us because uh, it was bombing right now next to her village. She, li she lives in uh, next to Kiev, like 16 kilometers from Kiev, the village called, called uh, Muzici. And it's like, it's a really nice place. I love being here at her house. But uh, she said that it was very scary. We don't have light, we don't have internet, and we have a very bad mobile connection. But I have um, a video of um, Aliftina right here with me. If you just give me a second, I will turn it on. I think it, it works it. Um, video file okay um nothing right you don't see it hello ah i'm in the studio it's like 26 kilometers to kiev i have so many things to do every day like three of sometimes even five interviews or contact with some press sending images or small text and statements today i'm going to teach in university of applied arts in vienna to talk our story about our war through the images so I'll show you how my studio looks like
Yes, so um, this was the video of Aliftina that she made before. She was hoping she could make it to today with uh, with us online, but unfortunately, no. And I just hope she will be safe and fine. Uh, Anya, um, are you here with us? Can you say something that makes sure you have a sound? Anya? Mm -mm, no, please, maybe, yeah, just... Um, Maybe you did something with the mute. Can you check it, please? Um, so uh, if Anna don't have the uh, the microphone, I will just um, also can turn on the video that um, that she gave us. And let's do let's do that, not to lose the time. Um, uh -huh. right. Kate, I don't think we can see or hear the video. Um, this, there's, there's no sound. No, there is no sound. I'm sorry. I was sure it's there. Okay, we will not stop on that. It's fine. Um, stop screen sharing. We just hope Anya will have a sound in a minute. Um, uh, Anya, I, if you can actually log off and log back on, perhaps we will we will get the song, uh, the, your sound back again. You just log off and log back on. That's what Alexander's saying. Yes, that's how you do it. You yeah, you know okay. we we always need to listen to Alexander. You know why? Because he's on the front line, so he knows what he's he's doing. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Agree on that. Not okay. So. Okay, uh, so uh, who's here with us? Oh, Ro Roman Pashkovsky is here. Uh, Roma, can you hear us? Can yes, you? Yes, I hear you. Oh, I'm so happy to see you. Uh, Roma is a photographer, actually a great one. I also love working with him. And Roma is staying in Kiev and actually making the most um, amazing in all the senses pictures, uh, being on the front line, see what is going on with the city and what is going on actually uh, with um, all that destroyment and humanitarian catastrophe and everything. So Roma, we just started and I ask uh, other artists what um, they have been doing when it's all started where they have been how did it like all uh, came for you and what are you like up to now can you share that with us please yes i share yes it's not it's it's yes <laughs> but my english is not perfect it's okay uh, you can tell me in ukrainian and i will translate it it also no, can no, work i try to english uh, uh actually i've been home and i sleep uh, and at five o'clock I heard the bomb. Uh, then I stand up, uh, do my morning breakfast, and uh, 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 packed my baggage. Yes, 
Thanks. Pack my baggage. And uh, go to my family because I not live uh, uh, because I don't live with my uh, family. I have ex wife and my child, children, child, uh, son, mm -hmm. son, and uh, uh, we together go to uh, mm, mm, Poland, Poland, mm -hmm. Poland. Uh, then I. Uh, mm, then they <laughs> they go to Poland and I go to Kiev. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's all. Um, actually, now I it's first time of my months of the war. I uh, um, stay in in my home. I can home. also see that you are in the sitting in the corridor as well as Sasha Kralikovsky yes. do. Because uh, because in corridor uh, because I'm uh, actually uh, just uh, just just walk in my my home at now, and we have some uh, light masking like masking yeah like, uh, and uh, I, I I hear the bomb at now. Oh my God! Yeah. That's horrible. Because my home is near ten kilometers uh, in the red line. It's uh, uh, Irpin, Bucha, mm -hmm. Borzel, uh, ten kilometers. Uh, in but my home, it's not stay in the fire line. And I think is more saved, more saved. But I, I don't sure. Uh, uh and i want to sleep in, mm -hmm. in my bed okay that's all because i uh, sleep all, all months in underground and i give it um, i don't uh, and i want to sleep in my bed that's all i understand yeah yeah, and I yeah know thank how you very to, much and, and i don't know how to uh this night is uh, will if be. it is safe yeah, you if it is safe to stay in But the house. I don't care. I don't Because you're tired, yeah, because it's impossible to handle. I'm tired, so very, very, very tired. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, thank you so, very much. So, Roman, where do you, do you guys sleep in the corridor? Uh, and not no, on no, your... no. I want to sleep in my room uh, near the window. I don't care. Yeah, you spend a month in the underground in the shelter. So, yeah, thank you very much for sh sharing that. Um, oh, I hear the bomb. Now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, so it's like that. It's not stopping for a second. Nobody will wait until we finish the conversation. And uh, almost like all the people who stay in Kiev or even uh, like other cities, more uh, eastern cities, they stay in the shelters, in the metro station, in the uh, um, just anywhere where is no windows and most of them didn't sleep in their beds for last month so it's like that it's been um it's been a catastrophe it's been a humanitarian catastrophe for many cities and uh it's a genocide of ukrainians so um it's continuing every minute and uh, we cannot stop it uh, like each of us but we can stop it all together so this conversation is uh, held to for the whole world to know what is going on and um, talk the truth about the war in Ukraine. And I remind you that we have uh, the donation platforms. They are listed in the chat. You can help us with that. You can share the information. You can learn about the war yourself better to understand what is going on. We. We all want to be uh, out of the politics, but we cannot anymore. So I personally believe that the power of uh, art is strong, that we can and we should continue doing what we do the best. And um, at the end, um, it's our front, our art front. So we have the platform, which was created, as I said before, but now it has a new voice, the Artists Support Ukraine platform. 
that is actually um, the idea was very simple just to call the international artists to send their artworks uh, about the the Russian Ukrainian war and to support the Ukrainians uh, you know to encourage them to give them some some hope uh, sometimes to give a love and so on so uh, and since then we started it a month ago and since then we got hundreds and hundreds of pictures from all over the world of people who are really like famous artists like Ai Weiwei um, and um, um, Shepard Fairey and I mean a lot a lot of them who really uh, also created artworks to support Ukraine, and uh, this is enormously um, important now. So I encourage you, if you are an artist as well, uh, you can actually send us the artwork. If you're an institution, you can also organize Ukrainian corner in your city, wherever you are. And uh, I mean, institution could be cultural institution, but also it can be anything. It can be a beauty salon if you want. If you have a Ukraine, like if you want to support Ukraine and um, you can print ready to produce exhibition, which we have on our website, uh, already like ready to be really printed you have you you should not do anything else with that and produce it and put it in your entry or wherever or do the full-scale exhibition we will support you on that so any kind of collaboration donation support uh will work for us uh, thank you for being with us today and we will continue talking to artists and actually right now i really want to go to uh, to the artistic part and to ask you guys what are you doing i know what i'm doing but i want you to share that with our audience so i will be very thankful if you can go um through your story and tell me like and i really want to come back to roma first because i i feel that your connection is not really good and um i really want to do not want to lose you um on that conversation so and can you please share with us what are you seeing what are you what do you have you been photographing and while you are telling that we will show your instagram page to to show the pictures roma ah <laughs> Sorry. I want to start. Yeah, I want to start with you um, because of the connection. Just to make sure you are here. I'm here. Okay. Uh, can you tell us about those pictures you made recently? Actually, I don't. I don't have some uh, special idea, uh, and I, I don't have some. Uh, I don't. Uh, actually, I, I I take a picture uh, to my son. It's my first mission. Uh, my son is five years old, and I want to show him uh, how its war is uh, looks like. That's all. I don't want to um, another mission. It's my uh, it's my 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 own mission. Yes, all. Mhm. Mhm. Yeah. So... It's uh, about it's it's my feeling. It's it's I want to. I never I never see the war. I I see the war in the film, on the mm, uh, about some story about war, and I don't know how to live uh, in the war. And uh, my mm, I, I'm interested to stay in Kiev, listen to the bomb around. And, and now too, because it's my my uh, my new my new my new <laughs> my, your, your new reality. Roman, yes, can you tell new. can you tell us uh, who all is in your family? I see you've got a, a, a you you're married. You have a, a wife, or and you've got a a, a child. Yes. Yes, my child and wife are in another, in another country. Right now. And are they? Are they? Cur, cur, which country are they in? They're hopefully they're safe. In safe, I, our 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 my my family in safe. That's that's all I must to say. Mm -hmm. 
Do you? And I do want you... to show. I'm going to show mm -hmm. my son uh, when they uh, be older. Uh, show the world how it looks like and tell him about my feeling about how I uh, how I live in shelter uh, and other stories and maybe something like that. That's that's first of my mission. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's very powerful. Yeah, I'm going through images and I fi find them really very powerful. And it's images I take I've on been... my phone. I'm, I see mm -hmm. pictures I take on my phone. That's I found pictures. Yeah, yeah, it's it's really amazing how it's here you have. Yeah, here you have just a normal life, and then you turn right, and then you have but the window uh, out. But, yeah, it, and, but it's a, it's cost pay for our uh, <laughs> uh, freedom. Yeah, yeah, we know that. Ro yeah. Robin, are you are you able to talk to your your uh, family wh wherever they are? Are you able to call them and and talk to them? How are they feeling? Mm. You know, I, 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 I yes, I uh, talking, talking. I call my wife, and we speak about uh, other things. They, uh, they feel hard. Uh, I feel hard in in this in, at now. Uh, they feel hard, uh, but another hard. I don't know. It's uh, not not too easy. Uh, not too easy. Because uh, my my children uh, is uh, almost uh, uh, almost uh, uh, five years uh, months ago, actually, and uh, after maybe maybe ten days, uh, ten days, and they go to another country and they stay here. Okay. Okay, yeah, thank you for sharing that. Uh, and we go on. And um, Alex, how are you? Tell me, what are you working on now, if you do? Uh, well, uh, it's, uh, it was hard to get back to work because for a couple of weeks I was in a shock and uh, have no idea how to proceed, uh, what I can do because. Uh, it seems to me my art is more peaceful and uh, uh, I was not ready to share this uh, experience uh, right now. And uh, after that, I just uh, have some projects ongoing and I uh, returned it, uh, to this project and uh, uh, my uh, old uh, uh, client contacted me and uh, asked if he uh, can uh, do something to uh, raise some funds uh, for charity and uh, i said of course why not uh, it's a good uh, opportunity to move on and uh, uh, in uh, in a week or some we i i met uh, some new collages from uh, uh, old photos uh, and uh, i had uh, actually, I have been to Chernihiv uh, uh, three days before the war started, and uh, on uh, February uh, tw 20, uh, we uh, left Chernihiv, and I ha had some fresh photos from there. And I just uh, tried to depict some uh, daily routine of uh, how. Uh, be in war because we also sleep in a corridor uh, uh, at my parents' house and we have some daily survival tasks like go to the uh, shop to find some food uh, and uh, probably some something for for uh, staying in a, um, a good uh, I just ordered some stuff to be ready if we will uh, stay without light or, or without electricity. So I try to make some artworks with this, and I hope this project will launch uh, next week, uh, and we will get some money for uh, refugees. And, and mm -hmm. no uh, am I right? 
Mm. Uh, am, I, am I right that um, uh, you now have some NFT pieces? Uh, I have some uh, uh, new artworks made for, N for NFT. It's not released. Uh, it okay. Will be yeah. Uh, week. Uh, I, I, I think because it's uh, hard to uh, get back to work each day because you just w woke up and uh, you already exhausted. Uh, and uh, actually, sure. I, I'm speaking well, but uh, all uh, each day starts uh, with uh, without any. Uh, Actually, I have hope, hope uh, to end this, but uh, mostly it's like uh, you just uh, can do nothing uh, uh, and you try to push yourself to do something. And I'm happy if someone uh, texts me and uh, invite me to do something. And uh, yeah, uh, of yeah. course, if I'm not busy, I I'm uh, sh sure I will do. But mm, uh, try trying to... Uh, uh, Back my uh, believing in art because uh, uh, when war started, I just uh, lost lost my uh, believing in this because only thing that which important is uh, making a photo of how war war is going because people who are not uh, in a war uh, they uh, I I think they don't uh, understand. Uh, clearly uh, who, who didn't met war before they don't understand yeah. clear clearly how it, how it is how do you uh, how you live with this and uh, it's hard to deliver this message uh, so mm -hmm. i just wait, wait and if it would be possible to uh, get back to this and to believe in art because for me art is a uh, like uh, something uh, uh, like um, um, not uh, frequent, frequently speaking, like uh, sign of wellness of uh, soul city. So uh, if soul city not not well, it, it's not not really uh, uh, want this art. They want food. They just want to survive. So I just mm -hmm. uh, try to wait for this moment when when it become. Uh, uh but well when better time will uh, return so. yeah and it's very important what you say now because uh you know when the second world war ended there was um, a conversation body about uh how and what the art could be after the war if art uh, could not save us from this, you know, horrible reality. Why do we need it anymore? How, and what kind of art can be created now? So, there was a period actually of time when nothing really was created. Well, there was something, but really a strong, like, um, bottom, like, uh, powerful artwork. Mm -mm, no. So, because the artists really had to go through it and to understand and it it took time and trauma of course you need to work with that as well so um yeah. i believe um and this is a, a, a question an actual question topical question for us now and i'm not sure we have the answer for that but i believe that art could be also a therapy for some of us and i and i know the, it is a kind of a therapy for anna who is actually right now while we are talking creating a sculpture which she has been doing and she has been go going through hell uh, even before the war and the art was always a possibility for her to go through things. So Anya, would you share with us your experience? Uh, you've got your mute on, Anya. Yeah, there we go. Hello. Yeah, now we can hear you. Hello. Uh, 
I, I don't think we can hear Anya, unfortunately. Um, uh, uh, Kate, if you can send me the video that she had, perhaps I can play it. If you can uh, send it on, on the chat and then I'll try to play it. Um, and then yeah, we'll go sure. from Yeah. Yeah, oh, sh yeah, sure. Just a second. Here you go. Okay, perfect. Okay, great. I I will try uh, I will try to play it in in a couple of minutes. Give me a couple of minutes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, we can we can still listen to Alexander, right? While we are preparing. Or, no, we have it. Okay, cool. Ani Swami, I'm an artist from Ukraine. My native city is Kiev. It was founded in the beginning of 6th century and has great history. Now, Kyiv, the same as many cities of Ukraine, is under terrible massive bombing of Russians. In one day, all the reality just crushed. The war started. On the second day of bombing, uh, my eight-year son, me and my mom took the decision to escape horrible reality of bombing and endless siren sounds. We managed to take train to Lviv and then the bus to Prague. Five days before the invasion to Kyiv, I was waking up each night because of high frequency sound and faraway bursts. I started to explain my son that maybe probably we will need to escape the country because of the danger of the war. Each time he started to cry and was asking me not to talk about that and not to write this topic again. That was frightening him too much. But when the decision was made to escape, he started to be calm, strong, and courageous. At the train station, Ukrainian militaries were helping um, save boarding women and children to the train. Wagons were overloaded, around 15 people in the room, and whole packed corridors. That was extremely existential feeling of unreality happening. All adults were just silent. And once in one moment, children started to make jokes. Jokes about bombing, jokes about shootings, jokes about blood and all this. We were kind of shocked, but that's how children save their own reality, their own inner borders not to get mad of all of that. They made their fear to be a play, saving inner borders of their consciousness. Today is the sixth day of horrible war. People are executed on the streets, houses destroyed. We now live in another reality. Great amount of common people hiding in the basements, children, old people, pregnant women. But our spirit is strong. We are Ukrainians and we will not surrender to those greedy, bloody Russians. We need you. We need all the country to support us, to stand with Ukraine, not only wishing us to be safe, but physically to be with us and support our struggle. Stand with Ukraine. Slava Ukraine. Heroem Slava. Yeah, that has been very emotional. And um, well, Anya is actually now staying in Prague and she's continuing to create uh, her sculptures. You might have seen videos like this before, but here's the big secret. Anyone can make one of these videos in a few yeah. minutes. So, you might sorry, think you need a professional a animator or to learn some fancy editing pro Sorry okay, about that. Yeah, so she's staying in Prague and she, she started to work on her new sculpture uh and she's been really courageous to start her work so fast after uh she ended the travel and one well well she, once she settled but this is a therapy as she said to me and we're sharing that like every day and she's also show me the sculptures and we we can see it on the back side of her picture now so um yeah i also wanted to say uh huh. That yeah, we have a sound now. Yeah, say something. Yeah, no, because I really. So basically, sent the cartel. You know, a lot about like inside work on vultures. Uh, of this, but I really want to say what I do now. 
I'm doing uh, right Um, in now we have ob ob uh, like a uh, mother or child to preserve them well for house and well for ever body and, and husbands and and so started to do very big smaller ones. Mm. Anya, it's not size. really. That will be of Paris here. A lot. Okay, I think, yeah, I think, yeah, uh, I me. think, yeah, we cannot hear that properly, unfortunately. Um, Can you try to say something now? Here. I think she has uh, potentially the uh, yes. uh, some internet issues. Yeah, I think so. Okay, I will just share her Instagram page for you to have it as well. Just like I show everybody so you can subscribe and you can see the guys and you can um, just you know follow or maybe buy their nft if they do something and um just to know how it's written shortly and i also have to say that we i don't know if you can see the screen yet probably no uh i also want to say that we have a lot of great comments from you guys uh from all those who uh, watch us right now on um, live but i also encourage you to ask questions to the artists because you've been sharing that you support us and the, the story of roma was really very emotional when he was talking about his son but maybe there is something you want to ask maybe you want not really about the art if you don't have anything to ask but maybe about the war which is also fine because we are here to share with you our own experience and um, maybe to give you the idea of how it all feels like so please don't hesitate to ask uh, any of that and I would also uh, like to say a couple of words about uh, our conversation today because um, the whole world is actually with Ukraine. The, the, everybody knows that is like horrible what is going on and that we are the peaceful nation that really didn't care about anyone else's life but our own. And um, we believe that like there are a lot of sanctions now being done by uh, Europe and America and many other countries that really support us. Um, but we, I also believe that we need to do the cultural san sanction sanctions uh, as well uh, as we do economical ones. So uh, if you work in the cultural field, uh, if you like run some kind of institutions, stop working with Russian at least for now while we are fighting because they need really to feel that they have like crossed the line and it has to be stopped and they need to feel the the pressure from all the sides also from the cultural side so we need to do that cancel cancel culture now and to use that tool as well as we use all other tools um and um the last question the last question i have for everyone um is um what do you believe is the role of art during the war personally for you not like the main role for the world and not the meaning but what is the role of your art that you are doing for yourself now please share that with us hey can, Do you hear me? Yeah, now, Am I now, like now we can hear you. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. So that was really like really strange stuff. People sitting in basements or somewhere in Kiev hiding. Um, that could be better connection than I think I found. 
Uh, okay, um, so can you share with us, please, what what is the role of art of your personal like art that you are doing for you? What what do you feel do I, you are doing yeah. it for? Okay, yeah, I, I will say it again because I was explaining like super picturesque, but so what I do now is not only a therapy for me as uh, it could be, but that's uh, a ritual, that's ritualistic stuff. So I've created a scenario and as like many of my sculptures are for something, this sculpture is as well. And um, that, that is Bereginia, and um, that, that is Oberik, which I do now for Ukraine, for all the Ukraine. And I put inside a lot, a lot of uh, my heart, mind, and um, like all, all my power. It's like a protection um, so symbol, a traditional, traditional protection symbol. So Anya is recreating this traditional uh, symbol in her contemporary sculpture. Yeah, so it, it will be connected not only with sculpture, that will be bigger uh, thing because we are connect, communicating now with film school and we made already some pieces together. And so that would, would be basically a performance kind of very serious ritualistic thing, which will be filmed and after we will make some video art. So this script is now on work, but that's a lot of conceptual lines which should be coming all together and like final uh, every day every day is like super massively intense and i'm communicating with a lot of people from the beginning that was also a lot of interviews and talking uh, but on second day when we just arrived uh, to prague and i like breathed in breathed out the vision came to me and as I got the vision, I have to act immediately. And I started to see, to, to look for studio, started to, to look for how I will do. For now, I must say, I started work already. So that means a lot of things happened. And now I started already working on this ritual. If everything works, this buster will die and we will survive and everything will be great. Yeah, so I, I'm working for this every day. Yeah, As yeah. It. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you for sharing that. Um, um, Alexander, can you also uh, tell, uh, because I don't really know uh, what you're working on, I don't think we got there, so if you can share that and also tell me what is the role of art for you now that will be brilliant. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, my connection now is really poor because I, I'm like how I'm understanding is some battle is started already near and uh, you know Russian army used some radio weapon and it's uh, like a, make inter uh, interference for the Wi-Fi and the for the mobile connection. So now I'm really close to my fee router. I hope uh, everything will be okay. So, okay, I will tell my story. The first three weeks, I can't uh, do any art, actually, because it was uh, too stressful. It was a lot of blast outside, and uh, the most of people was afraid around me. So I'm go to civil defense, to territorial defense, and now I'm a part of the territorial defense. And I'm a coordinator of the volunteer uh, volunteers in Vizhgorod. So I'm working like, you know, the boring office work, but half boring office work, half it's a hard work. I'm just, you know, the working by my hands. And it was uh, helpful because one week ago I started to do some artworks. And I'm uh, at first I'm start um, made some digital works, but I'm understand what is a not so ter like not not so ter uh, therapy for me. So I'm um, start to make some typewriting art. I maybe I try to show you one moment, like counting some pictures from the texts. Sorry, mm -hmm. but later I, I will show you because it's a handwork and hand, handwork is really helpful in the um, that kind of conditions. But also, I'm you know that I'm a, for all, all my life is some kind of performance. So I became a storyteller 
just for the people from territorial defense and um, when uh, some people have some a lot of stress I start to tell stories. People understand what that is a fiction because, for example, I can tell stories about mother goddess which protect us. And I'm saying, you know, I'm ambassador of the great goddess. So uh, if Russians just kill me, that is, was wrong decision. So we now in safety place because, you know, the, you're near ambassador. And people understand what that is a fiction, fiction stories. But that fiction stories can help you know, the in uh, when you afraid and, but also I'm now I'm collecting my uh, feelings because that is such interesting uh, situation. My body uh, feel fear, whereas uh, for example some blast outside or something happened near, but my mind is really calm and I, I'm understand. Okay, that is a battle, not so wow. near. Wow. Yes. Now it's much more safety, actually. Uh, so, um, uh, but my mind uh, keep calm. So uh, I'm collect my feelings uh, to uh, make some reflection after. So that is an interesting time for me because you know the I'm change everything. I'm uh, change all projects. I'm working absolutely different projects before. So, but now. I hope I'm still alive and I'm uh, ending my handwork and I'm Andy and I'm uh, make some refle art reflection on that feelings on the front line. So that is um, at least part of my story. Thank you. Yeah, thanks a lot for sharing that. Um, yeah, I think it's really, uh, it is one of the mission of the arts to document the events. It's, it's not that like much anymore after like 150 years ago since the photography was created, but still um, it is also, as from what I hear, it's also a, a kind of a therapy for you. And of course, is it probably a therapy for other people who are around? Yeah, who, who can listen to those stories. Actually, that is uh, also a problem because I can't make a lot of photos. Because when I start to make some photos outside, people was afraid because everyone here have strong paranoia about, you know, there's some spies and about some collecting information. Even when I use analog camera, old vintage analog camera, people nervous so i'm stop make photos and that is actually broke my heart maybe i found solution how to make some photo uh, i have a lot of photos uh, on the film from just from my window that is uh, was <laughs> but um, i hope i found solution and actually i'm also can't make uh, satellite photos before i work on the project using satellites like a photo camera and uh, i but actually i need go outside and use some radio stuff for that that people also will nervous from that so i'm respect people feelings here a lot so but i i hope i will find solution how to do it Mm -hmm. uh, Anya, do you want to add something? Yes, very much to be careful with that. So while um, about making photos, about this photo documentation, that's very interesting topic. And I would love to participate in this topic just slightly a bit. So uh, we, were, we were kind of evacuating, not kind of, but really evacuating my studio uh, at Kiev. That's like I didn't have opportunity to say to take anything and that's like graphics and works and i was asking my friends to make some photos there and that was not possible because really mm -hmm. it is absolutely true if you make uh, some photos and somebody sees that that could be a big problem that's that's really a big issue here so be careful with Thinks about mm -hmm. like doing photos. Okay, maybe, um, maybe that's maybe she's that's well known for her. Like. Want to show you the page of another artist that we have the item here that was from today. Uh, so she 
doesn't really participate because it's a really bomb and she doesn't have any internet. So, so Kate, Kate uh, I don't know if Kate, if you can hear me, but you're, you're sounding uh, jumbled up, but it's sounding beautiful because you sound like a musical instrument. It's like you're singing, but we can't understand anything. But that's fine. We, we understand what you mean because we understand the emotions, right? <laughs> Uh, but let's see if uh, if the the gods of the internet can uh, can help us, and let's see if she can log back at, again, and uh, this works. Oh, but, um, well, it's fascinating to see all of you guys who you're you're okay. in the in the war, um, and you're still continuing your continue. art. Um. Yeah, Kate, we, we can hear you now. Hello. Hello. Well, per perhaps we um, we I can ask a question of, of you uh, who are still here, and we'll wait for for Kate. Um, what do you see as your the future in the future? What kind of projects would you like to do? If uh, and what what kind of collaborations with uh, with artists would you like to do um, in the next couple of months? What what are you guys working on? Perhaps Alex, if you can start, and then Ani. Well, uh, it's hard to predict uh, about a couple of months uh, because uh, actually we just uh, have plan for a day and just hoping that we will be alive in the day after. So uh, it, I I just I, I I received some commercial offers uh, during the past two weeks and I just re rejected because I. I'm not able to uh, guarantee some something to uh, that uh, I can lose my internet connection in a day or uh, just uh, stay without without light, uh, electricity or something. So uh, I just want to end this uh, and just and just just making all project I was planning to do and uh, just to proceed creating because as for me we you know it's like a, a what it's like a disease uh, just uh, when you face uh, some uh, this disease or something that you will die you just start to understand that you uh, not not made much and you have to proceed and you have to hurry up and you just want to get more time like uh, air you breathe you, you just oh let, let's it's uh, and, and i will do anything i want to do uh, so uh, i ha have plans to film a clip and ha have plans to make some great collaborations and uh, it, but now it's hard to predict. Uh, I just want to. For now, it's uh, like uh, I'm just waiting for new opportunities to give me a sense that I am alive and I'm doing something uh, necessary, important. Uh, whenever it's it, it's important for me or for other people. Uh, just another opportunity each day. So for two months, it's too much for us uh, for now. So it's just uh, counting for a day or two or uh, three. I now I know that I have a project to get uh, to get to my friend's house and uh, get uh, her laptop and send her on the east of Ukraine. And it's a good project for me because I'm necessary uh, now here in Kiev to help her to uh, get back to work. And uh, for example, 
uh, our cat uh, at my house, my wife's uh, parents' house, uh, 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 lack of uh, cat uh, meals. So we go there and buy some food for this uh, for for cat and stand there or some uh, medicine for our people uh, uh, ask us to find something. So it, this is our project for now. And uh, I think it's the uh, only thing uh, we can do. And uh, as for art, uh, uh, it's, I think, as we said before, it's a kind of experience uh, that we have to uh, live through and uh, uh, return, uh, if we will, will stay alive, return it uh, after that. Because uh, as I noticed, I just... Uh, find my new experience uh, only uh, when I return to my ex previous work and I look through them and I, I and I see that I just met something some new people and I get new experience and this uh, depicts in my uh, art and I, I, I think it in each uh, artist uh, practice uh happens this way that you just have to live through something and get back uh, to audience your experience and they uh, hear you and uh find out that oh yeah the, 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 this is something i uh, uh was looking for and or something like that mm -hmm. I, I just want to acknowledge thank you so much for that and you know, when you say, look, I, I would do my art, but first I have to live. Um, and I, it reminds me of a poem that my, uh, our Guru Nanak wrote. He says, Which means, as long as I sing, I live. And as soon as I forget, I die. So as sure. artists, it behooves us to continue doing our art. And as long as we're doing our art, we're living. And actually, you know what? Our art lives way beyond us. So it's uh, it's beautiful. I, I also want to acknowledge there are a few people who uh, who just sent comments. Victoria, she sends, uh, she sends us courage. Victoria is a beautiful, beautiful singer. She and we will, um, uh, she helps a lot of seniors with, uh, with, uh, with weekly concerts. So thank you, Victoria, for your message. Uh, we have Pavaka, who is an amazing singer from Canada, and he, he does soulful meditative singing. So thank you for, for sending your message. And uh, also my good friend, uh, Alexis, Emmy award-winning musician, uh, video producer based in San Francisco. Thank you so much for your message. I'm going to turn it over to Kate uh, for the yeah, next question. Sure. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, well, first of all, I, I'm amazed how many really people from different countries we've got, and it's so important for us. So we can really talk to the whole world about what's going, on, what is going on, and talk uh, really, you know, face to face to the people who are staying now in danger, to the artists who continue their work, and really. Uh, this is their decision it's it's not the decision to save their life but decision to continue doing what they are doing which is amazing uh and i remind you that we have a donation that you just have it right now on the links um you can donate any amount that will be very helpful or you can share the information you can be an ambassador of peace and justice and the ambassador of ukraine uh, and um, I actually do not have any more questions for today. I think we are done and we have been here for our almost hour and a half uh, talking to the people who stay in the hotspots uh, uh, in Ukraine right now, fighting and in between uh, really making the art, which is uh, just unbelievable. And um, I think it's a very important conversation that we will continue another time with another artist uh and i hopefully hopefully everybody who is with us today will be safe uh and this will this war the russian ukrainian war will end 
soon. So I'm um, thanking very much to all of you for being with us today. Uh, that really means a lot. And Shiv, thank you very much for hosting that. Your audience is brilliant. And I'm very, really, really happy to see all that comments uh, and words of support from people from all over the world. This is amazing. And please, please spread the information uh, about the war in Ukraine and about the effort that Ukrainians do to end this war and to survive every day. Stand with Ukraine. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much. I know uh, this was very tough for all of you. Uh, I feel your pain and I, I appreciate your courage for being here while the bombs are falling uh, right next to you and you're here, I, I really appreciate it. And uh, we at Dunanand Foundation, we are here to support artists who serve the planet. You're not just artists, you're, you're my family, you're our family, you're part of uh, us, and whatever we can do to help you, we, we, we will. Uh, and what better service can we provide our Mother Earth than to spread awareness about peace and freedom? Peace and freedom, should uh, should be everywhere, including Ukraine. Um, so please support these artists. They are from Ukraine. Um, I will have uh, links to artists support for artists support Ukraine uh, under the video once once we're done with this. I will also have links to how you can donate. If you instead want to send me an email or if you want to send Kate an email. Feel free to do that to pledge any amounts. Uh, I myself will be donating uh, to the artists support uh, Ukraine, and I'll, I'll be talking to you, Kate, about that. Um, and so I'm, I'm going to end uh, the conversation here. But artists, if you can just hang on for a second, we'll chat. Uh, we'll chat after the broadcast has ended. Thank you, everyone, for joining us, and uh, see you uh, uh, at another time. Thank you again.